Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life back again at ATIA. I'm here with Jason. He is part of the Windows Accessibility team and he's gonna be talking about some of the awesome stuff new on Windows and coming soon. Yeah, right on. So thanks, Sam. When we think about trying to make the accessibility better in Windows, one of the first things that we think about is how do we make it easier to discover, learn, and use? So right before I even jump into the new stuff we're doing on the low vision side, I want to talk about how we're making it easier to discover this stuff. So one of the biggest things we're finding is that people like to search for what they're looking for. And one of the things we do is, you know, as you start to type now, we'll actually be able to show what you're looking for. So in this case, I typed the word bigger, and there's options here uh, that will actually make it easier to make your screen bigger. Bigger text, bigger mouse pointers, make everything bigger. And by doing this, it sends you to the right place. So what I always hear from like my dad and so many others is, how do I find the thing that I'm looking for? And we've been working much better at making sure the things that you're looking for, we're connecting you to. Now, once you start to find the things that you're looking for, in this case, we brought you to ease of access and we brought you right to the display page. What we also try to use is plain language. We really wanna make it easy for you to know what these options actually mean. Way back in the day, we used to have something on Windows 7 called DPI. DPI scaling, and you could change it from 96 to 144. None of that made any sense. DPI scaling is actually about making the screen bigger. So we've changed that experience to talk about how you make everything bigger on your computer with this technology. And again, instead of those random numbers, we talk about 100%, 150%, 200%. And the last thing before I dive into some of these improvements is, in addition to making it easier to find, easier to use with plain language, we try to group these things together. So on this side, I've, I've found my way in the display page and actually, we've grouped all of these vision settings together. So we have things like display, mouse pointer and cursors, magnifier, color filters, high contrast, and narrator. And we're trying to bring the settings up towards the front that are gonna be used by the most number of people. Bringing the settings up to the top that can be used by a lot of different people. So that's how we think about making these things easier to use. One of my struggles when I use the computer and I'm gonna to jump to something like Wikipedia. When I jump to Wikipedia, if I have internet, which I do. I'm from Virginia Tech, so I'm always gonna do my plugs for my alma mater here. So here I'm on the Virginia Tech page, and the text is really small. So when I have to get close to read it as someone that's low vision, a lot of things happen. One, I'm really close to all this. It's hurting my back because I'm having to see it. Now, traditionally, we would talk about just using magnification. There's other options and affordances of it to come out that are really great for those of us that are low vision that we want to bring over to Windows. And the first thing that we've brought is actually text sizing. So when I jump back over to Ease Access, the first option that we have is make the text bigger. And we have some sample text, and I'm gonna go it all the way up to the max that we have today, which is 225. I'm gonna hit the apply button. What it's doing now is actually setting the text size to 225 across the whole system. That's including windows, including things like the start menu. And you may have noticed, I actually showed this with Google Chrome. We've actually worked with Google to make this text sizing option work in Chromium apps and the Chrome browser. So now we have nice large text right within Chrome. I'm gonna close this window here. Now when I was closing that, it's awfully hard to find that little mouse pointer. So again, the text is bigger, so I don't have to get quite as close personally, but that mouse pointer is tiny. The other problem is it's white and black, just like this page. So if we jump back to ease of access, we've worked on some things in display. The very next option is cursor and pointer. And this is a new feature that's coming out in the next update of Windows. It'll be sometime like, uh, kind of like spring. Uh, so we've had pointer options before. And these pointer options, we had kind of three sizes. And I always felt the third size really wasn't big enough. And then we've had three colors. We've had white and black and inverted. But the problem with those colors is, again, they still really, do, they kind of blend in with a lot of different content pages. So what we've actually introduced is new sizes as well as new colors. And one of the things that we're trying to do as we think about how do we make accessibility more inclusive is we want to build for one and extend to many. So in the case of that text sizing feature, 
you could go from 100% up to 225 in one percent increments. So that if you have some, uh, if you have visual impairment like me, and you really need bigger text, you can really make it large. But if you really just need to see your computer a little bit easier, maybe you wear reading glasses, you can make the text just a little bit bigger. And we've tried to do the same thing with the tech with the uh, mouse pointers. So I can now make the mouse up to eight times larger. And so this is a really mouse, really large mouse pointer. I'm going to use a size roughly around five. Now there it is. It's much bigger than it was before. Jumping back to Wikipedia, now it's bigger, a little easier to see, but it's still white and black, and so it's still a little hard to find. We've introduced custom colors. So now we have seven really bright highlight colors. This first one that we picked is actually from one of our software engineers. He specialized in color when he was going to get his PhD. This is a really bright highlight yellow, so he worked on finding the best colors that actually work in places like the internet and documents. And if you don't like these, there's other colors that we have, and in fact, we have a way to pick your own custom color. So if you don't like these, in the case of my four-year-old son, he didn't like these, and he doesn't have a visual impairment, but he wanted to make it pink. Pink's his favorite color, so he actually was able to pick the perfect color for him. And so now if I jump back, and I'm gonna go to my favorite color, which is that first yellow, now I'm back into, uh, back into the Wikipedia page. I've got larger text. I've got a nice, big, bright yellow pointer. And this is great. This is how I love to use Windows. But we haven't really talked about magnifier. And so I want to show magnification now. And as I use it, I'm going to jump in to magnification. And now I'm in magnifier. And what's neat about these things is that text sizing feature and that mouse pointer actually work within the magnification experience. So now we actually have pretty good looking text. And we're on a journey here. The text isn't perfect. There's still some pixelation. We do have a new feature where we smooth out that font and smooth out those images, which is causing less eye fatigue throughout the day. But we know we have to do better. And that smoothing option is actually already available in the public updates and uh, it's on by default. Now I'm using a new mode in Magnifier called the center mouse mode. In this case, the mouse pointer is actually in the center of the screen, which makes it a lot easier for me to focus. So for folks that don't use magnification, what generally happens, and I'm gonna kinda recreate this by coming down to the start menu, your mouse pointer starts to move in lots of different places. And in the center mode, it snaps to the middle. And this helps out in a couple ways. First, we're in a world where a lot of applications, a lot of websites are pretty dynamic. So in addition to having magnification moving everywhere, you have apps and websites popping menus and videos are playing, and you're dealing with your mouse pointer moving quite a bit. The other thing that this is great for is for folks that have lost peripheral vision or don't have great peripheral vision, now the mouse can be in the middle of the screen, so it's always in the same location. I personally love this mode, uh, and it's just one that's just made it much easier for me to use Windows. The last little bit of secret kind of hidden feature that we don't talk too much about, it's something that I love. If I jump back to Ease of Access, uh, we don't actually have this feature yet in Ease of Access, but you may have noticed a lot of what I showed here is in kind of a darker mode. <laughs> Normally we would have things like high contrast, uh, be able to have a dark mode within high contrast, but Windows actually has a dark and light mode, and we've been making that experience better. I'm going to type in, just like we did earlier, dark, and right away I see an option that says turn on dark mode system wide. I'm going to jump over to those settings. I'm going to turn off dark mode, and I'm going to show you what kind of the default Windows experience is, which for me is really bright since I have light sensitivity. Things like File Explorer, extremely bright. Things like settings, the start menu. All of this is tough on my eyes. So you can type in dark or dark mode or dark theme, and it's going to send you over to the personalized section of Windows. I'm going to go ahead and change it from light to dark. And it's going to start to change this mode across the system here. Now it's dark in places like settings, start menu, and then new in the October update uh, of this past year, File Explorer also works now with this dark mode. Now we have other places that we need to get this mode working. We're working closely with folks like Office as well as the web browsers to make this a consistent experience. But for me, having this, having things like the Action Center where we get notifications and quick actions, 
places down there like the calendar. There's lots of places that this dark mode works and it looks really good. It's really aesthetic and kind of has a nice visual feel to it. So that's a lot of stuff, Sam. We got, we got stuff going to magnification. We got text sizing. We got mouse pointers. We got dark mode. So we're really excited. It's been a great year. Um, we're looking forward to continue to make these things great. Yeah, I've been talking about it for a while now. All the great things coming to Windows. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about the uh, improved mouse uh, options, pointer options, and the dark theme in File Explorer. That's awesome. And Jason has a webinar coming up that you guys might be interested in talking more about uh, Windows accessibility. Jason, when is that? That is February 20th at 2.30 Eastern Time, and you can sign up today to register for it. I'll have a link in the description down below. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Right Sam on. with The Blind Life and Jason. We'll see you next time. Thanks.